Hello there, Leo listeners. Clara here from Leo Listing, where I help intrepid travellers and adventurous expats connect through movies in English. So I'm here today with Barbara from Italy, who is Hi. a movie club member. Hi, Barbara. Um, we were trying to calculate, calculate. We were trying to work out how long you've been in movie club. And I think you definitely started in 2020. Yeah. Like when it's when it started so you've been in it for a long time even if you took a yeah. bit of a break um yeah. <clears throat> in, in, in 21 21 yeah that sounds about right about right yeah um do you want to tell us a little bit more about yourself yeah um barbara i i'm from italy i'm from market the original market and uh, actually more recently from the uk so and i'm an italian teacher and i'm also uh, expert on Mark on my region. I'm trying to talk a lot about, about my region to to learners of Italian. And yes, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Like you're an ex expat because you've just come back. I am a, an ex expat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you funny. had been yeah had been living in the UK and now you're back in your your own country. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Um, well, my next question for ask for you was why are you learning English? I mean, has it has it changed now that you're not an expat in the UK or? Yes, I I, I still have. I mean, I was learning. I mean, I am learning English because the fact that I'm an Italian teacher, sometimes I found myself, especially because I'm an online Italian teacher, I found myself always speaking in Italian. So mm. I really needed to, you know, come back to the language and uh, especially in the last um, two years, I found, because the pandemic, I found that I really needed to reconnect with the English language and uh, I found this the perfect way to do it. And yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, that brings us nicely onto our next question, which is, so can you describe it, the movie club, in your own words? Oh, wow. That's, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I mean, I actually want to come back to what I said, because I said, because the okay. pandemia, it's not only the pandemia, because I think it's, uh, it's like a space, a club, a club, a club uh, as, as you called it, where you feel, uh, you feel um, safe, and you have fun, you can learn, and um, you, you choose to be there because you like, of course, movies, you like the cinema, you like this kind of topic. Mm -hmm. So you learn English through something that you enjoy. And then you have the opportunity to learn a lot about something that you enjoy and go deep into that, into the language, into into a lot of aspects of this kind of topic and and the plus helps you to to learn more, better the language um, in a funny way but in a deeper way and in a maybe enjoyable way um, mm. yeah less frustrating and uh, you know you're with you and with the other members and it's incredible how deeper you can go to to learn about a movie and at the same time the language and the culture mm. and the director and the actress and the actors and the gender of the, the movie and, and I am finding it so fascinating really and that's the great I mean it's a great thing about the movie club really great. okay cool yeah this opportunity to go yeah to go deeper than maybe you would yeah, by by yourself, I suppose. Yeah, because probably by myself, I would go maybe through my language. To I mean, I would research more. Yes, maybe in English, maybe in Italian, but mm, I would have the opportunity to interact in the language, mm. in the target language, with the English, with other people. So in this way, I can also yes go deeper by interacting with the mm. language. Yeah, yeah, not just the sort of passively watching exactly um, and yeah you're right I mean I learn a lot every time we have a new movie so we're, we've got a new one that we're watching next week so I'm going to have to start researching it but yeah. it's really cool because I, I learn all this stuff I never knew um, about particular movies particular actors yeah. 
um and you guys tell me like oh I watched this really cool like you said you watched um when we watched a John Cusack movie and I had linked to a video with yeah, yeah, John yeah. John and Joan Cusack who are siblings and they were yeah. like yeah it was so interesting they were talking about like you mentioned like it's so cool to hear about their careers and listen to them yeah. reflecting on yeah, their yeah. careers because um, then we have the perspective of you, of you that you are an artist speaker and an expert of the language but also the perspective of the others and it's you know, you have different layers, which uh, mm. makes it really like a Y factor, if I can say it. Okay. Flat. Cool. Yeah, the perspective of the different members. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, that's what I always, uh, I, I love the most personally, is just, just hearing how different people, you know, we watch the same thing, but we all interpret it a little bit differently and we all appreciate it in different ways. And yeah, when you yeah. hear someone else's perspective, you're like, oh, wow, I never, like, I didn't notice that yeah, or yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. think about it that way. So, cool. Yeah, I think that also gives it the depth that you mentioned because, yeah. you know, the interactive. Yeah, and I like when people say, no, I don't like it. No, I yeah. love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> No one is like, you know, <laughs> like I can say very briefly, you should like, you know, no, actually, no, everyone's like, <laughs> ah, that, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, people aren't afraid to give their opinions, which is, <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is which is good. Yeah, no, no, definitely. That's a, that's a, a, a positive point. Um, okay, well, so you have described, also in your own words, you have described Movie Club as both fun and unmissable. So could you maybe be a bit more specific about what's so fun about the movie club okay uh, i think you know very well that my <laughs> <laughs> I, I i enjoy a lot the watch party so when we meet and uh, we watch the party together uh, and we message on um, um whatsapp and i found mm. that so i mean at the start was like mm, this is not going to work i mean i remember <laughs> the first time i could She's great. This is crazy. Even though I'm very open-minded for this thing, I'm also a teacher. You know, it's like I was like, mm. I found it so funny. I think we had so much fun <laughs> watching mm. this movie because we really analyze everything from the from the words, the pronunciation, and uh, all of us notice different things. And uh, yes, and it's quite you know the, the opinion and the, the details that we notice, the language that we. It's we we can learn a lot, but at the same time have a lot a lot of fun watching the movie. So that that's cool. That's cool, and it's interesting because usually we don't watch the movie just one time. No, maybe we watch the mm. movie and twice. So maybe we start to watch little, you know, the clips of the movie. So it's just one of the many opportunities. That that opportunities together to watch part is fun. It's really fun. Yeah. Oh, cool. You know, that is yeah. That is kind of like a a, a social moment because yeah. So we're watching just to explain to people because the concept is a bit weird because we're all watching on our own yes, computers you. or tablets or whatever. Yeah. Um, and and we're all on the, the the WhatsApp group for the the watch party. And so we all press play at the same time. We manage to more or less coordinate. Sometimes we have some we issues. Do, we but, do, actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, we usually like figure, yeah, if you lose your place, you can just ask like, where are you guys at in the film? And, um, and yeah, and we text each other about it. So um, yeah, I mean, that can just be like, often it's a, a lot of emojis because, you know, we don't have time to write like <laughs> really long um, messages while, while watching. But yeah, I think that kind of takes the pressure off because you're not sort of there to understand everything perfectly. Like it's more a kind of a fun moment, a sociable moment, texting each other. And well, and some people, yeah, do text like questions. Um, and I'm, I'm there to explain stuff but it's not it's not really the goal I think to like be like oh my god what's what's this word what's this word it's more just to kind of relax yeah. and just enjoy it and and um kind of watching it where we're apart but we're also watching it together yeah so. but it's also starting to watch a movie as a as a speak as a um, uh, a real uh, English speaker not mm. a learner that's the fun part because you start to feel like Oh, I'm not a learner. 
I'm, I'm like a speaker. We learn during the watching, you know, because, because sometimes we ask you like, what the heck she's saying? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but at the same time, we are all the same level, even though we, we maybe have trouble. Sometimes we have trouble, like with the British movies, some of us was like, oh my God, this is difficult. But even though we were feeling really like at the same level, we were trying to laugh and to appreciate some parts of the movies, that was also fun. I mean, even with some frustration sometimes, we have mm. fun and we felt at the same level, like, you know, English speakers watching the movie mm. together. That was, um, that's, that it is nice. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're not thinking, oh, I'm here to like, this is like an exam or a lesson and I'm here. And exactly. There's all this pressure. No, I agree. When you look back through um, the messages, I mean, I've, I've, I've archived the groups, <laughs> but I can still see the messages. And yeah, it just looks like friends just, you know, sending each other silly messages about a movie, you know, um, for the most part. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, I totally, I, I totally agree. Okay. And then I'm missable. I'm missable because the task that you give us. So for people that will listen to this, um, so you give us each week a task, a mm. task uh, in a Google Doc actually, and they're um, unmissable because I think they are so, so precious and incredible material that we can use during the week or even later with a lot of clips mm. um, about actually <laughs> them here because I didn't want to forget. <laughs> but, um, okay, I love, uh, for example, okay, you give us the incredible uh, workbook at the start, which is really, really nice. I love the week one uh, where you give us, you know, all the questions and, you know, just you call the starting point. Uh, to watch the movie and then, you know, pieces of the movie to, to watch or interviews that helps us. Mm. And then um, we work with transcription, which is also very, very useful. And then we can send you some uh, recording and you give yeah. us a, a general feedback, which is really, uh, you know, incredible about uh, spoken fluency and so on so I think this is unmissable I mean the material that we have from the week one to the week four is absolutely uh, unmissable this part of the movie club it, it is really 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 uh, priceless yeah. okay cool all right so yeah we've got these kind of two elements like the structure through the tasks and yes. then also the kind of the fun element where we're we're also, yeah, you kind of forget for a moment, like, oh, I'm learning English. Um, I'm actually just watching a movie and interacting with, with cool people. So um, let's talk a bit more then about this interaction. I mean, well, I think you're going to say yes, but does the club help you feel connected to others? Um, yes. Maybe you could talk a bit more about that. Yes, yes. Uh, again, I'll come back to the chat because that's an experience that I've had myself as a teacher, but... Uh, uh, I thought the chat could, could have been overwhelming or a little bit, but it's not. And it just right. And uh, the way also that you moderate it, I guess, but uh, the way that the other people respect it and what we say in the chat is so useful. And the people that sometimes, the other members that sometimes, you know, find links and uh, and the, 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 the things that we talk about, the it's, always so interesting plus mm. we are there we are writing in english that's another thing. Mm. so um, there is also this um this aspect of the movie club that we are writing in english when we mm. use the chat during the week and it's nice because you are interacting with the uh, different people with different ideas with different you know pace and mm. um, and that's uh, another um, probably a missable thing as well of the movie club. Um, yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I, you can tell I'm a bit fun. <laughs> All right, but no, no, that's a good point. Just just talking on WhatsApp is is enough to feel 
connected I mean I guess it's what it's another one of those things that a lot of us do just in our daily life as well that's just part of life is being part of groups on on um on platforms like whatsapp and 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 texting each other so yeah we just do it in a in a slightly different you know way because we're reflecting on movies we've watched but yeah yeah. and i feel it richer because it's not just like i like it and i like it (laughs) or just like really talking about things about a movie about even um even hard topics important mm. topics of life you, you know we don't all, only have fun but uh, that's <laughs> well, well let's talk about that then because like you're right with some I mean we've tried different types of movies sometimes we've watched movies that were a bit more kind of like comic or light-hearted yeah. but I don't know about you but I've always felt that every time we've watched a drama even if the topics were difficult because maybe we talked about things like death and grief or racism or you know things that aren't easy to talk about like um did, I mean did you find it useful to talk about these topics did you find it like in the movie club is it is it possible I mean do we manage to talk about these topics without... yeah it, it is it is it is mm. of course there are always delicate subjects because you don't know who, who are to the other side which kind of experience they have in their life but I, I think it's a safe place to do that mm. so I that's also, you know, um, an intelligent <laughs> club <laughs> where, where, where we really talk about everything and <clears throat> again in different layers. And that's what uh, uh, um, I love about the movie club. So. Cool. Yeah, no, I, I agree. We, we've, we've, I've always been very impressed with everybody's reflections on the movie and yeah yeah, even when the topics are more difficult um yeah everybody stays respectful and yeah we have watched some movies that have maybe become a bit more controversial over time and that that people are you know some movies have aged a bit badly we've seen that with um with some of them and some of them we see people are kind of reevaluating them and yeah. but yeah it does it leads to inter- interesting discussions for sure because yeah one of the things sometimes we discuss is like would this movie get made today you know because attitudes and society have changed yeah. and, and I'm to- we're yeah. talking about movies that are from the 2000s they're not super old but, no. but things have changed mm. a lot yeah yeah, yeah. So it's really interesting also to look back and reflect and be like, mm, yeah, maybe today it wouldn't be, you know. Exactly. So, work. yeah, compared to society at that time and today. And uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's absolutely really, really interesting, you know, um, even for our brain, not only for the language, <laughs> you know, like, uh, uh, yeah, we are using our brain in different ways. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. No, I totally agree. Like me, me, me included, even if I'm using my language, like I'm like, oh, wow, I never, you know, realized that about this film or yeah, it's, it's good for me as, as well. Um, so how would you say then that the club has improved your English or even your life if we, if we want to go that far? My, 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 my English for sure. And, uh, and uh, I think if you use the moving club really 1%, your pronunciation, your vocabulary, and your knowledge of the culture, of the awareness of the language, the spoken language, the, uh, uh, also the, the written language can really mm. improve so, so, so much. I think you give really a lot, really a lot. If someone really wants to improve their language, the English, and uh, have, you know, right, use the material 1%, material that you give 1% and the chart and everything as really like, (laughs) (laughs) an amazing potential to improve the language. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So, and also the life, because the life in the sense that I started to appreciate more certain kind of movies and, um, uh, and then explore more cinema in a different way. And then, mm. yeah, that's improve your life somehow, you know, like certain, certain aspect of your intellectual life, let's say. Yeah, definitely in terms of like reflecting on certain yes. topics or 
the big one for me is kind of uh, almost becoming more empathetic and kind of looking at um you know in a movie we've got different characters so already we've got different perspectives and sometimes we watch movies and we don't really understand why particular characters yeah. do particular things um and sometimes we're looking at we've watched movies that were set in the past so sometimes it's hard with our modern perspective to understand people's behavior but it really forces you to try to you know put yourself in their shoes as we say and really try to understand things from someone else's perspective and I think yeah that is what that's what art that's what literature what cinema I think brings to us all yeah. like we, we get to see the world through someone else's eyes exactly and, yeah mm. the example for me was Robocop I mean for me, <laughs> I, I really I really wanted like come on <laughs> you want me to leave the movie club? I said, no, Robocop, no. But really, I was like, you know, never, you know, never judge <laughs> when Kara gives you a movie, never judge her. <laughs> and I, I learned so much, really, I learned so much from that movie. You know? Yeah, that is a surprising movie. Well, I want to say you, you pick the movies. Like if you weren't, if you didn't agree, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have watched it. But yeah, that, that movie, you have to be open That's true. To open-minded but it's yeah it's what you think it might be and then when you actually watch it like it just looks like an action movie and then you watch it it's actually like a deeply you know that that's for giving an example that even if there is something that you think but oh, that's weird you know like I'm not sure but then it's not really open your mind and I, I had so much fun also with that movie <laughs> yeah and that I movie's also hilarious. Hilarious. It's, it's it's very funny but it's also very deep and sort of philosophical Absolutely. and um yeah no it makes us think about a lot of a lot of a lot of things now a lot of things that are relevant now because you know it's about a cyborg and now we're in a a, a kind of now we're in the future almost of that movie and it's kind of like we're getting closer maybe to like the type of technology that they had and it's, yeah it makes you ask questions about yeah like what are the limits of that as well and you know yeah, yeah. anyway if people haven't seen that movie really go see Robocop because it's an incredible an incredible film but we watched so many movies and was, everything was I can say fun and a musical <laughs> yeah <laughs> well there you go you heard it here fun and a missable movie club well thank you so much Barbara for coming and taking some time out of your day to talk to us about the thank club. you it's a oh, pleasure it's so lovely to talk to you and to hear your perspective on that. So thank you very much for sharing. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.